Hello. Today I'll be walking you through a bare metal installation of Docker on HPE Synergy. We start with OneView, and more specifically, the server profile template from within OneView. The template will control the configuration parameters specific to hardware type, network connectivity, local storage configurations, BIO settings, etc. It is also the template that will be used by Docker to create the server profile. This addresses the physical hardware provisioning. For the operating environment provisioning, we're using Insight Control Server Provisioning to execute an OS build plan. This OS build plan would install and configure a base operating system of CentOS that Docker will be installed onto later in the demo. A future demo will introduce HPE Synergy's image streamer to address the stateless provisioning of an operating environment. On the right-hand side, you can see a Docker machine create command was executed along with a number of parameters. These can be scripted. However, for the purposes of this demo, we call them out line by line. As part of the syntax of the Docker machine create command, we are specifying a number of arguments, namely the OneView provider driver for Docker, the IP addresses and credentials for OneView, Insight Control Server provisioning, and ILO, as well as the name of the server profile template and the name of the OS build plan. As the commands execute, you can see the feedback that the integration provides to the end user. The service power state was set, the Synergy compute module bay and hardware was chosen, and the profile creation was initiated. On the left-hand side, you can see the profile being created within OneView. This was accomplished through the integration between the Docker driver for OneView and OneView's RESTful API. From within the profile, you can click on the details link and you can see various configuration parameters being set, hardware bay being chosen, downlink ports being configured, etc. Once the profile is created and assigned, the next steps are to register and import the ILO into ICSP. This will allow the compute modules to be a target for the build plan. After the Synergy Compute module has been added, the OS build plan starts. At this point, we're not only leveraging the RESTful API of OneView and Insight Control Server provisioning, but we're communicating directly with the RESTful interface of the ILO as well. This shows the power of a common RESTful API for hardware and software, and how it can deliver on the value of a composable infrastructure. We have sped up this section in the interest of time, but you can clearly see the execution of the OS build plan steps. Now that the OS build plan is completed and CentOS has been installed and configured, the Docker machine command takes over again and starts the Docker provisioning process. It connects to the newly provisioned host, detects the provisioner, and then initiates the Docker engine install and configuration. You can now see that the process has completed and the Docker engine is installed and up and running. The newly provisioned Docker host is now running the Docker engine bare metal on a CentOS-based operating system, no hypervisor. We run the next command to set some environment variables so we can execute Docker commands directly against the newly provisioned host. If we look at the IP address that is identified in the command line and open it in a browser, you can clearly see that there is no web application currently running. This is to show that we do not have any containerized applications installed or running on the newly provisioned Docker host. By executing the next command, we will connect the shell we are currently running commands in to the Docker host. This will allow us to run commands directly against the newly provisioned Docker host, which we will illustrate next. Now that we have a Docker host, the next step would be to run a containerized application. Here we will leverage the Docker Hub, a cloud-based registry and repository, to pull down a Jenkins containerized workload. Jenkins is a popular open source continuous integration server used in the DevOps world. We issue the Docker pull command and the application name as it is stored in Docker Hub to pull down and install Jenkins on our new host. Now that Jenkins has been pulled down from Docker Hub and installed, we issue the Docker run command. We specify the associated ports and the container name. As you can see, the container essentially starts up much like a server booting and starting an application. 
however much faster and much more efficient. After a few seconds, the command line shows that Jenkins is up and running. As we refresh our browser, you can see that the Jenkins containerized workload is now up and running and accessible. As easily as we can stand up a workload using containers, we can pull them down as well, again showing the value of what Docker and a composable infrastructure powered by OneView and its RESTful API can provide. Once we terminate the application from running, we execute the Docker machine command with the RM option to remove the container and the dash F to force the removal. This essentially will remove the physical host and return the resources back to the resource pool. You can see from the command line that the power state is set on the host and it starts to remove the OneView server profile. If we go back to OneView and navigate to the server profile menu, after a few seconds, you'll see that the Docker server profile is being deleted. This process is essentially the exact opposite of when we created the profile earlier in the demo. The profile is deleted and the hardware resources are returned to the resource pool for future consumption. I hope this was helpful in understanding HPE's Docker solution on HPE Synergy.